Hey everyone, welcome to TechWired. In this video, we are going to see problem number 787, cheapest flights within K-stops. We are going to solve this graph problem using Bellman-Ford algorithm. We will see the logic and we will see the detailed explanation in this video. Now let's dive into the solution. So this example has been given in the lead code. This is the second example in the lead code and we are going to solve this particular problem using a bellman fold algorithm. So first I will explain what is k stops here. So here we need to find the minimum distance. Okay, We need to find the minimum distance. Minimum distance from my source to destination. Source city to destination city. Okay. So in between this, between my source city and my destination city, I can have a direct flight or I can have a one layover. Layover is nothing but a city between my So this example has been given in the lead code. This is the second example in lead code. So we are going to solve this particular problem using Bellman full algorithm. So here we are we are given k stops. First, I will I will explain what is k stops here. K stops is at least at most at most I can have one stop here in this particular example. So what it at most means, I can have a direct flight from my start city to my end city source to destination or I can have one city one other city in between my start city and my end city I cannot have more than one I can have zero city or I can have one city in between my start city and my end city okay so we need to find the minimum distance between my source and destination, start city and my end city. So initially I will have a, I will create, I will create a list of infinity based on the number of cities that has been given in the input. Here there are three cities. So I'm, I will be having three infinities. Okay, initially. And also I will create a temporary list which I will use to update my main DP. Okay. Main list. This is my temporary list. I will have a copy of this. Okay. So initially I will be having the zeroth index or the source that has been given. The source here in this problem, the source is zero. So I will be having the zeroth index. So I will put the indexes here. Okay. Here the source is zero. So I will initialize zeroth index with zero. Okay. So which I will be copying here. So I will be running a loop based on the k stops. Okay, here I will run 0 and 1. I will run a for loop for 0th city and for the 1 city in between. Okay. So at, at each stop, I will update my temp and main DP. Okay. So this is the flights input that has been given the start and the end city. Okay, the edge between and uh, also we are given the distance. So first I will show you for each and every input that has been given in the problem. So first we will pick 0 to 1 and the distance between them is 100 here. Okay, it is 0 to 1. This, this edge. Okay. So I will keep this as my start. Okay, I will keep this as my start. Okay, yes. And this is E for end. Okay, end city. 
and this is my distance okay so what i will do is i will see the index the end city okay in the temp temporary list here it is infinity right i will take that next i will check the index of the zero the start index so here the start the starting node is zero so i will check the starting index in the main dp now i will check the end end destination node in the temporary list and now i will check the starting node in the main dp main list here it is zero okay here in the zeroth index it is zero so zero okay then i will add this distance that has been given in the input to this one to the zeroth index the index that i checked in my main db i will add that distance to that particular index value okay here it is 0 plus 100 okay i will take minimum of this here it is 100 i mean i will update this 100 in the destination temp in the temp index what is the destination here it is 1 so i will update in the first index as 100 okay now we will see for the next one 1 comma 2 comma 100 now i will take the end okay and check in the temp here it is infinity i will take the infinity then i will take the first index here the index is 1 so i'll check the first index here it's again infinity plus distance is going to be infinity so i don't have to update in 2 it is going to be same so next i will take 0 comma 2 comma 500 i will check the end the end okay in here it's infinity okay here zero now check what is the zero it is zero again in the we need to check this zero in main dp the starting the starting in main dp and the ending in temp dp and i will have to add the distance in the starting value the starting that i'm getting in the main dp here 0 plus 500 i'm going to take the minimum of this infinity comma 500 okay i'm going to update this 500 in the temp in the end end index in temp here it's infinity so 500 okay the loop has been over this is for the zeroth stop we can do till first stop now we finish zero and we have to check for first okay so after the zero stop i need to copy transfer this into main dp now my main dp will be 100 and 500 it's updated okay cool now i need to run for the first stop again i, I will be run running the loop one zero to one and 100 now i will check in the temp it's 100 and i will check the starting here it's 0 0 plus 100 it's going to be 100 so i don't have to update here it's already 100 here so it's already 100 in the first index the end index in temp okay so i don't have to update so i will take the next one 1 comma 2 comma 100 i will check the end in temp it's 500 i will take the first index 100 
I will add this 100 plus 100 it's 200 so the minimum is 200 yes it's going to be changing here now I got 200 right the minimum between 500 and 200 is 200 now I will check the end in temp it's 2 so I will change here 200 okay now the next 0 comma 2 comma 500 I have to check here it's again 200 now I will check the zeroth index 0 plus 500 so it's already 200 so I don't have to update now I will exit the loop by transferring this in here I have to update my main DP so my main DP that that is a change right here the 200 has been changed so I will change 200 here okay now we are given a destination index that is 2 okay now I will check 2 here okay here that the minimum distance is 200 so initially the source is 0 so we need to find 0 to 2 the distance between 0 to 2 the minimum distance between 0 to 2 is this one I will show you in the different color this one this path it's 200 right that is 200 if there is no if if it is infinity that we initialized at the start if it is infinity I will be returning minus 1 okay now we will see the code so now we will see the code so initially I will create a main DP okay this is my DP I will create an infinity list okay I will create a infinity list based on the number of cities that has been given so initially I will initialize the source index as 0 then I will write the for loop for k stops okay here k plus 1 okay 0 and 1 we need to run so I'm putting it as k plus 1 then I will have a temporary list that I told talking about I will copy this main list here okay now I will check for each and every input u is v u is starting node b is ending node and w is the weight which is in the distance that has been given in my flights input okay now I will update my temporary list temp of b is equal to minimum so here I will take the end I will check the end index in my temporary list okay then I will take the start index in my main list I will check that that is u and I will add my weight w the distance okay to my start value then I will update my main dp using the temp okay so I will run this loop for k stops I will return the dp of distance that is my destination that is given in the problem if so I will return the distance if the destination is not equal to float of infinity whether there is infinity or if there is an infinity in that particular index I will return minus 1 okay now the code should work as you guys see it worked Thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers